This week on the first edition of UFTV News, we welcome the UF class of 2020 to campus. And we preview the upcoming seasons for our Oiler sports teams. Good afternoon and welcome to UFTV News. I'm Alexis Mitchell. And I'm Heidi Paxson. Finding available housing on campus is usually a painless process here at UF. However, this year with the certification of the new sonography program, the options became less affordable for some students during Welcome Week. According to Rachel Walter, the Director of Housing, there are new houses on Trenton Avenue that are now under the control of the UF Housing Department. Although not originally intended for housing students, sonography students could benefit from staying on the same street together. For more information on campus housing, contact Rachel Walter at finley.edu. The Schaefer Library on campus is opening new resources to help students prepare for presentations and speeches this semester. With the usage of computer labs becoming less, the university decided to input a special software called One Button Studio. It is a studio booth where you can see the presentation as you are practicing. Academic technology specialist for UF says the decision to replace the computer lab with this system was an easy one and they expect students to find these new studios helpful. The library will still have computers to check out from the front desk. Our campus radio station 88.3 WLFC recently underwent a facelift this past summer with a new look and sound. Under the new direction of new general manager Bobby Beebe, the station now has a new logo and direction of music to appeal and attract new listeners. Bobby stated that the station will now play more hip-hop and pop music as compared to the indie rock that was a standard in the past. Along with these new changes, a new website will also be developed. For more information about how to become involved, visit our webpage at www.uftv.finley.edu. Are you interested in politics and looking for campus and community involvement? UF has several opportunities to get involved right here on campus. Both college Democrats and college Republican organizations are actively looking for new members. These clubs hold events on campus year-round as well as having involvement in local, state, and national politics. If you are interested in further involvement, there are countless opportunities out in the community as well as in a major election year. There are our presidential campaign offices in many cities who are always looking for student volunteers. In the next couple of months, there will be several events to look out for on campus. Check out the Student Organization Fair on September 20th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the AMU to gather information and get involved with the politically active clubs on campus. For over 20 years, Wildwood Tack Shop has been making an annual trek to the University of Finley's English Equestrian Farm to provide supplies to students. From August 20th to September 1st, the tax shop from Lambertville, Michigan sends a mobile unit to the university so they can be present during the first two weeks of school. Wildwood Tax Shop enjoys coming down every year to provide the freshmen and the upperclassmen get ready for the new academic year. For more information about the mobile tax shop, go to pulse.finley.edu or pick up a copy of the Pulse. Coming up, where are all of the Hillary signs in Finley? And find out how South Carolina might have an early Halloween trick on their hands. Stay tuned. Why do I choose Union Bank? Convenient. At work, home, or out and about. I can check my balance from my smartphone, laptop, or tablet, and even deposit a check. I'll find convenient locations all across the region with a staff who cares from my community and a great network of ATMs. So there's always one close by. Visit theubank.com and see just how convenient your community bank is for you. Thank you, Omar. Member FDIC. Underwriting provided by Heavenly Pizza, 1404 North Main Street, Findlay, 419-423-7494. UF students get 10% off with ID. A Findlay woman is tired of replacing signs in her front yard after people steal her signs supporting Hillary Clinton. Not only were her neighbor's Hillary signs taken, but one was also set on fire. Helena Manning, a Finley resident for a year, says that she will continue putting Hillary signs in her yard. She is even inviting whoever is taking her signs to come to visit the Clinton campaign headquarters on Main Street. In the latest on the 2016 election, Donald Trump's controversial plans for a wall bordering Mexico, Mexico and the southern half of the U.S. took a hit. Mexican President Enrique Pena Nieto was adamant when stating that Mexico will not pay for the wall as Trump claims they will. 
Follow CNN for more coverage of the upcoming election. Attention has recently been drawn to a small town in South Carolina. A clown has been sighted trying to lure children into the woods. The clown that has changed the small town feel of Greenville has turned into a national story. Residents have reported banging noises, the sounds of chains coming out of the woods, and the clown trying to get children to enter the woods by bribing them with money. So far, there have been no pictures or videos of the clown, but a public information officer says he's taking it as seriously as any call to make sure that everyone is safe, especially the children. The apartment complex, Fleetwood Manor, found the various complaints very seriously and sent letters out to each resident. Coming up next, we will take a look at the upcoming fall seasons for Finley Oilers. We will be right back. Why do I choose Union Bank? Because they understand that I work hard for my money and deserve a reward, like Everyday Rewards Checking, a checking account that rewards you with a refund on your ATM charges. Plus, you can get paid cash rewards or great interest rate rewards just for using your debit card or paying a bill online, right from your phone or tablet. Stop by the Union Bank today and ask about Everyday Rewards Checking or visit us online, your community bank. Union bank. Member FDIC. Biologistics is proud to support UFTV and the Finley Media Network. Watch Euler Basketball live on uftv.finley.edu. For the University of Finley football team, the 6-6 record they posted a year ago is not something that they are satisfied with, but it is something that they can certainly build off of in the upcoming season. With a new attitude, the Oilers look to build off of an exciting offseason when they start their 2016 campaign against Saginaw Valley tomorrow night at Don Donnell Stadium. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. Despite the above average season, the 2015 Oiler men's soccer team still fell short. Finishing 9-7-1 overall and 7-6-1 in conference play, the Oilers are ranked 6th in the preseason rankings and only missed out on the playoffs last year because of goal difference. The next game is today at 5 against Salem International at DeHaven Field. The UF women's soccer team will be searching for more consistency this year after a disappointing 2-13 and 3 overall record in 2015. They will be in action today at Southern Indiana. Thank you for watching this week's edition of UF TV News. I'm Heidi Paxson. And I'm Alexis Mitchell and have a great weekend. Sharing our costs, organizations can satisfy their corporate and marketing objectives through an association with UFTV programming. Our underwriting team can design a program that is custom made for you to reach your advertising goals on UF's media network, UFTV, The Pulse, or WLFC 88.3. To underwrite a program, contact UFTV at 419-434-5909.